Minh Thúy xin kính chào quý vị hôm nay thứ Sáu, 5 tháng 4, 2024. Đến với VATV hôm nay gồm có phỏng vấn đặc biệt và nhạc lá bồ đề. Kính thưa quý vị, chính quyền Kennedy thường được xem là chính quyền đứng trước ngửa cửa cuộc chiến Việt Nam. Ông đang phân vân về việc liệu có nên can thiệp quân sự sâu hơn ở Việt Nam thì bị ám sát. Trong phần vấn vấn này thì Minh Thúy mời quý vị theo dõi những suy nghĩ của Tổng thống Kennedy và ảnh hưởng của ông với toàn quốc Hoa Kỳ nói chung và với những thanh niên Mỹ trẻ nói riêng vào thời điểm ông bị ám sát. Sau khi ông bị ám sát thì Tổng thống Johnson bị áp lực nặng nề về việc phải duy trì những chính sách của Kennedy. Và một vấn đề quan trọng là phải tiếp tục đẩy mạnh những chính sách của Kennedy, đặc biệt là đối với cuộc chiến Việt Nam. Minh Thúy mời quý vị theo dõi phần 2 những suy nghĩ của chàng thanh niên Lacey Rice vào lúc đó. Chương trình do Phan Lê Dũng, Võ Thành Nhân và Minh Thúy thực hiện. What about the studying that you have when you go in another direction like that? Uh, what about the study, uh, the study that you've already done before? Uh, was it impacted in any way? You said you dropped out when you were like in sophomore, right? University? Uh, yes, in my, about the second year of, of graduate school, mm -hmm. I dropped out. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, as I look back, uh, in, in one way, I wish I had studied something else. I wish uh, something more useful. Hmm. I wish I had studied uh, economics, for example. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, I, I got a good liberal education. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that is something that uh, you can use uh, all your life and mm -hmm. that is still very much uh, prized, I think, even today, mm -hmm. although uh, today you have uh, uh, so many other kinds of uh, technical uh, kinds of training. Mm -hmm. Uh, computers and artificial intelligence and all of that mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, pretty essential if you're starting out mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. That was not the, so much the case back then. Mm -hmm. Although I will say that when I was in high school, one of the things that was very much uh, in the news all the time and very much a, a pull on uh, uh, students was uh, the, the uh, kind of scientific uh, uh, area mm -hmm. where and, and very much punctuated by the uh, Kennedy administration's mm -hmm. efforts mm -hmm. to go into space. Mm -hmm. So that was uh, very prominent at the time and I'm sure that drew many people into Uh, fields mm -hmm. like uh, engineering, physics, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. other kinds of science. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you coming out uh, of the administration's time in the 50s into the 60s, which is the Kennedy time, do you see the difference between the uh, Eisenhower administration and the Kennedy administration by then, or were you just too much into study to notice that? Uh, I think the latter. Uh, I, w I was not uh, looking at the wider world very much mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was not until I uh, went into the Foreign Service that I started to think in those terms. And by then, we were in the middle of the Vietnam War. Mm -hmm. So the, the Vietnam War trumped everything else Right. Uh, at that point. Uh, when Kennedy first started uh, his administration, it seems like a lot of people seeing the changing of direction from the administration, uh, from Eisenhower administration into the Kennedy administration. Do you see the new direction like uh, policy for a new frontier and Kennedy is a new person and the direction of the country coming out of the war is like superior position com comparatively speaking to other uh, countries? Do you see oh, yeah. it in that way? Yeah, uh, there, there's no doubt that, the, that the Kennedy himself was such a, a magnetic uh, personality mm -hmm. and uh, there it, He, he had a profound effect on lots of people. He started out the Peace Corps, right. of course, and uh, drew lots of idealistic young people into mm -hmm. that. Many of those same people then went into the Foreign Service. Yes, correct. So, so many of the people in the Foreign Service, many of those who went to Vietnam, 
uh, had been in the Peace Corps. Yes, exactly right. Uh, do you feel like Kennedy uh, had he alive? Uh, had he been alive? Uh, he, I mean, without before the assassination, do you feel like he would go into Vietnam? Well, that's a perennial question, of course, the perennial, per, perennially asked question. Mm -hmm. uh, no one knows. Uh, he he was uh, skeptical, apparently, uh, near the uh, end of his life, uh, about whether we were doing the right thing in Vietnam whether he would have uh, doubled down and, and done it in a different way or whether he would have pulled out. He was, of course, uh, he, he, he must have been thinking all the time about the Bay of Pigs disaster. Exactly. Uh, in which he was unwittingly, in a way, involved. Mm -hmm. uh, to, to his great credit, even though this was an operation that he had inherited from the Eisenhower administration. To his great credit, he never tried to blame it on anybody else. He mm -hmm. took responsibility for it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm sure that in, internally he uh, said to himself, uh, I'm never going to get involved in anything again mm -hmm. that I'm not fully mm -hmm. uh, uh, in, in sync with and fully knowledgeable about. So I, I, I'm sure he would have been looking at Vietnam in the, through that framework. Mm -hmm. Were you old enough when there was a comp uh, the, in the election year between uh, Kennedy and Nixon? Do you follow those elections in that term? Uh, yeah, sure. And then we have a lot of debate between Nixon and Kennedy and uh, they were talking about China and question like international relations. I'm sure it's your major and you. How do you feel about uh, those debates and do you really have a preference for either Nixon or Kennedy at the time? Well, uh, I wouldn't say I followed them very closely, but of course I was aware of them. We were, uh, uh, I was aware uh, of Kennedy through another lens as well, mm -hmm. and that is that he was a Catholic. And uh, he turned out to be the first Catholic ever elected mm -hmm. president, as right. you know. Right. Uh, but the, uh, the, the debates, uh, I think the verdict on them is that they were, were probably a draw, but that Kennedy with his great personality and his great presence mm -hmm. just outshone Nixon mm -hmm. and that had a big effect that uh, probably decided the presidential election. Mm -hmm. Does what the uh, Kennedy idealism, does that really resonate with you absolutely. personally? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So you feel like his calling is actually to all the youth uh, of your age and that was really attracted to his message of going yeah, out and there, service there, and everything. There's no doubt about that. Uh, if you talk to people of that era or, or if you read about that era, uh, th th that clearly comes through. Mm -hmm. What about you? Uh, do you think about Vietnam at all uh, during those years? Uh, no. Uh, uh, well, not very much. Uh, uh, and what I did think about, I didn't like very much. I was, don't forget, that in those, uh, in that period, uh, in universities, Vietnam was not very popular. The Vietnam War was not very popular. Correct. At all. Mm -hmm. And I would say that I was uh, generally of that view. Not that I knew much about Vietnam, but I was uh, swayed mm -hmm. by uh, the people who uh, were critical of our government for uh, not always telling the truth about what was happening. Uh, and so I would say that I, and I would add, probably most of the people who went into the Foreign Service with me felt the same way. Uh, we were not uh, very much on the side of our government with regard to Vietnam. Do you see, do you see the uh, lot of difference between uh, President Johnson and President Kennedy? I'm, I'm assuming that by the time that people get into Vietnam War, it's already Johnson's administration, and Kennedy's gone by that time already. So the faith in the government, would it be the same for Johnson, would it be f uh, for Kennedy, or there is a big difference there? It appears that President Johnson uh, was hugely influenced by the need not to lose a war, hugely. And so many of the uh, decisions 
along the way, he appears to have seen through that optic. I think that Kennedy might have been a little more independent in his thinking. He might have had more self-confidence than Johnson did. Mm -hmm. but and, and of course, the Vietnam War dominated uh, Johnson's uh, presidency, and it eventually uh, caused him not to run for another term. Kính mời quý vị đón xem phần 3 phỏng vấn ông Lacey Rice, nhân viên cao cấp Sở Ngoại vụ, sẽ được phát hình vào tối thứ Sáu ngày 12 tháng 4, 2024.